My name is Derek Cullinger. I have a PhD in physics and I'm going to explain how you find the resultant displacement between two points. So let's say we have a grid. And let's say we have a couple of points on this grid. And maybe one of them is here at a point of negative 2, 1. So two units to the left and one up. And maybe we have another one that's three units to the right and four units up. So 3 comma 4 would be that point. What we want to do is figure out how far apart they are in a straight line. So here's how you do that. You can draw a line straight across and then straight up and make a right triangle. And then you notice that this side of that right triangle has a length of 3, and this side of that right triangle has a length of 5. And the Pythagorean theorem tells us that if you have a right triangle, the hypotenuse of that right triangle, let's call that length y, if you square that length, you get the same thing as when you square each of those other sides and add them together. So in this case, you would get 3 squared plus 5 squared. And if you multiply those all together, you come out with 34. So that means y is the square root of 34. And if you plug that into a calculator, that's pretty close to 5.8. So that makes sense. We would expect it to be a little bit more than 5 and, and a bit more than 3. So 5.8 is, is reasonable. Sometimes you see an equation in textbooks that looks like this. y equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Let's see if we can make that darker. So this is just another way of saying exactly what we did. We call one of these points point 1 and the other point 2. So negative 2 would be our x1. So we'd stick a negative 2 there. x1 would be, or excuse me, the, the number 1 would be our y1. So we'd put a 1 there. Uh, this 3 would be our x2. So we'd stick a 3 there. And that 4 would be our y2. So we'd stick a 4 there. So here we'd have 3 minus negative 2, which would be 5. And here we would have 4 minus 1, which would be 3. So again, we'd have 5 squared plus 3 squared, which is exactly what we did here. 